Hey everyone, Lexi Gavin here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am switching things up. I am going to be going over to the MGM. They are running an amazing tournament. It's a $1,700 buy-in, 1 million guarantee. You start with 50,000 chips and it's our level. So that's like absurd. It's gonna be so good. So I'm excited to switch up venues today. Um, I had a really, really, Nice, relaxing two days off of poker. I was just feeling like I needed a break. Playing every day, it gets a lot. So I am gonna get ready and head on down to MGM and hopefully we can have some good run over there because I think it's good to switch up the venue every now and then. Uh, if I bust, there's a chance I go over to the World Series and play the 2K that starts at 1 p.m. But uh, that's not gonna happen because I'm gonna go deep in the MGM one. So let's go. But first we have to do our weird little morning ritual where I do my little health water, which consists of collagen, mushroom mix. Mushrooms are super healthy. This is from Four Sigmatic, hashtag not sponsored. We're gonna put that in water, take some turmeric, some vitamin D and some vitamin C. Gotta have strong, healthy bodies to rock the World Series like we are. Let me mix this up and we'll drink it down. Cheers. All right, we are en route to the MGM and Bobby Boy's driving. We got our coffees. Actually, I have chai tea, he has coffee. We got some Little House on the Prairie vibes going today. <laughs> And remember to enter the contest, all you have to do is hashtag Lexi Gavin Poker on your social media and write below here in the comments that you submitted or entered because we're picking the winner from the comments. Did okay. I just say that? I, I said it faster and better. Okay. <laughs> I feel an edit coming. I feel, I feel I'm getting going to be left on the editing room floor again. <laughs> Cut! All right, see you down there. Which one is Tweedledee and which one is Tweedledum? Which one's the more important one? <laughs> which uh, Tweedledee? And you're Tweedledum. I guess I'm Tweedledum ass, so it's gotta be me. It's gotta be me. Second question. I'll guess yes. whatever one he does. Is want. it true that you two are founding members of the Alan Kessler fan club? Uh, yes, and actually the only two members. Founding and the only two. Both are correct. That's what All we right, thought. Alright everyone, Jordan Cutter and Justin Hammer. Actually, want to know their names are not Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> Tweedledum ass. <laughs> Tweedledum ass. All right, uh, we're a little concerned. Are we here on the wrong day? Uh, I think you're here on the right day. <laughs> this is it? Okay. <laughs> we are not using a kiosk. All right, table 26. So, so far, there are only 17 players, and it's a million dollar guarantee. So, what that means is there's likely going to be an overlay so an overlay is when the casino or the poker room guarantees a certain amount in the prize pool so in this situation they're guaranteeing a million dollars but if they don't have enough players where their buy-ins equal a million dollars then the then the poker room makes up for that difference so did i explain that like okay yeah <laughs> okay yeah. so imagine that um you loan a friend a million dollars and then the friend pays you back nine hundred thousand dollars. You lose that money, but the friend gets to keep the extra hundred thousand. That's basically no play, right? Yeah, basically. So there's three starting flights for this, and you can buy in for an hour on day two. So lots of opportunity. Uh, we play eight levels today, which is so nice. We don't so get done nice. too late. And uh, yeah, start. With, it's fifty thousand chips. That's piles. Excited. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's like a big time. Okay, going good so far. 
we started the table five-handed, so I got to play a lot of pots and chip up early. So I have like 80K and it's 300 big blind. Piles. Now the table's filling up. I like shorthanded. All right, so good first couple levels. We're on the first break. Uh, the first pot that I won, which was pretty nice size, was like middle position open and I three bet five, six of hearts on the button. Small blank cold called and the uh, middle position player called as well. The flop was a six, three rainbow. Uh, one heart, I have six, six, five of hearts. Checks around and I bet small here. I don't want to check and then let them like decide the bet sizing on the turn. Um, so I bet small, I bet like two big blinds and the small blind folds and the big and the middle position player calls. Uh, the turn was a jack, uh, check, and then I bet again um, because I think that he's gonna have a lot of like pocket nines, eights, tens, things like that that might fold. And I really don't wanna lose to those hands. I'm kind of turning my pair into a bluff here. So I bet again, um, what the plan was, I was gonna just bet one more time and then just give up on the river if he called. Uh, so I bet again and he calls. The river is a five, so now I river two pair. I bet like about a half pot and he thought for a bit and he called an ace jack off. So it was a nice, nice little first, very first hand of the day. So, uh, and yeah, then we just started chipping up slowly because we got to play five handed. So it's pretty good. All right, we are back, so gotta go. My job is so hard. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should fold that. It was a three bet pot, early position open, that guy called, and then I three bet the queens out of the small blind to 6K. And then he calls, and then you guys saw he flopped two pair. I mean, there was a club draw on the turn, uh, so maybe he had a hand like ace track of clubs that he was just bluffing river with. I mean, I don't know, I had a bad feeling about it. Maybe I should have folded, but. Let me know what you guys think. And you know, something to keep in mind that he also had one, he stacked someone like the hand right before. So I thought there was a chance that he was just like on happy tilt. Uh, I don't know. Um, he saw me show down a few bluffs earlier. So, I mean, there was a chance that he was just trying to, you know, bully me, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna re-enter. Get back to you in a sec. Yeah. Trying again. So we're on break and I got bluffed out of a pretty big pot and I'm frustrated because it's just it's just a crappy setup situation. So cut off min raises, button calls. I'm in the small blind with king queen off and I three bet. Uh, it's a good spot to three bet. Um, I like playing the small blind as a three bet or fold for the most part and cut off for cut off and button like ranges are the widest. So I three bet and the cutoff who's like an aggressive euro min clicks it back so he min four bets me like the absolute minimum amount uh the button folds and i think for a second and i call the flop is king jack four rainbow i check and he c bets a quarter pot i call the turn is a blank it's an eight offsuit eight i check and he bets again like little under half pot and I call again. The river is a two. Uh, I check and he shoves. And at this point, I'm just like, shit. Like, I think that he can easily have aces, uh, ace king, king jack, jacks, things like that. I mean, jacks, I don't know why it was more about free flop, but I mean, there's just a lot of hands that beat me and it looks really strong on my part. Like, it looks like I can easily have a king or ace king or something. 
So whatever. So I thought for a second and I folded and he showed a five for nothing. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that one. So I'm down to 20K, but we're coming back to 600 big blinds. So it's still plenty, right? 600 big blinds? Yeah. 600. Yeah. yeah. All right. Want to hear my hand? No. All right. You, wanna, you don't want to hear? Sure. So I was under the gun with six, seven off and I raised and then Kings, I found out later, re-raised me. And Aces, I found out later, called me. And I should have mucked. And I heard Lexi's voice in my head saying, why are you playing this garbage? So I called. And the flop was 6-7. Of course it was. I need to learn to run crazy. like you. Yeah. How do I run like Bob? Quit trying to play good. You know, I have a theory. Quit trying to play good. Play I lucky. have a theory today. I feel like I'm getting... I feel like they're trying to bluff me a lot today, and I think it has something to do with the fact that I look all little house on the prairie. I'm not kidding. Like, I I would bluff me if you I saw me. <laughs> I would bluff me. I raised the three sheep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, goodbye. annoying later position min raise I shove like 20 20 big blinds or something uh, with ace guy on my left just happened to wake up with ace king and we lose the flip because we've been losing all our flips so I'm gonna head home actually I might go to the mall what? and Bobby boy's got gonna what go to the mall no you didn't win what we well, you didn't win money I, I that's no. what happens when I lose I want to spend yeah, she buys stuff on sale and then says, look, I saved this money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Still got a chance here for everybody else, so I'm still in. I have about 100 big blinds, 120 big blinds. Must be nice. Open six, seven offsuit under the gun, and one guy has kings, one guy has aces, and he like oh, triples. Oh, I'm a poker pro. Oh, and I need to start playing bad hands. My hands need to hold up every time. All right, see you. Yeah, you just got to play six seven is reverse reverse implied odds with variance all right top. you are not in the mood no I, right i'm not She's all not right we're, we're moving bye. bye bye he plays horrible hands and just runs like god i'm happy for him i am i'm very happy for him it's just uh frustrating to see uh him play hands like nine five off and six seven off and flop two pair trips and get tripled up and I'm just like losing every flip and losing with the best hand. <laughs> but you know, I think we could all take a lesson out of Bobby's book. And I think that lesson is fuck it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on a vlog, but we said it. I think I'm gonna head over to Fashion Show Mall because Bob bags in two hours. So I could do two hours of shopping. Make me feel better. All right, catch up with you guys in a few. Retail therapy, it's a thing. Hey babe. Hey guys, just give you a quick update. Here at the MGM, $1 million guarantee, $1,700 entry. 
I had a pretty good stack going into the last two levels and then I didn't. But I bagged chips, I bagged 48,000. So um, I'll come back to about 30 big blinds or so, 32 big blinds. <sighs> it's frustrating because you think you can just run it up, run it up. But the good news is I'm making a lot of day twos. I'm putting myself in position to uh, make a deep run, possibly win one of these things. So that's all I can do. I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I will shoot it back to Lexi. Well, I had a lovely day of shopping. So glad that I busted so that I could go shopping. Did you buy me anything? I did, I bought you a lot of things. Ah, it's a good day. Yep, I'm debating buying in to day two because you can still buy in for an hour on day two but I don't know what I'm exactly gonna do yet. Tomorrow is the Colossus, so $400 buy-in, and it's basically bingo. So that should be a fun one. That's really all I have to say. Do you have anything to say, love boy? 1% of what either one of us wins, That's so right. make sure I've pinned the, I've written the instructions, Lexi has pinned it to the comments below in this video. So take a look at it, share this video. Yep, all you have to do is hashtag Lexi Gavin Poker on your social media, Lexi with a Y, and then comment below that you submitted to our link to my video or my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching, I love you. I, we appreciate your support so much. This channel has grown so quickly over the last three weeks, it's insane, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. We love you and appreciate you from the bottom of our heart, and have a good night. Uh, I'm gonna make Bob try on some clothes, which no, he absolutely I will not try them loves. on now. I'm not trying them on tonight. He hates it. No, it's horrible. Oh, please. You look so great. Are you excited? Don't you try to you? compliment me into trying on clothes. That's <laughs> so smooth. Oh, you look amazing. You look so, you look sexy in me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a good night and see you guys tomorrow for the classes. Bye. Oh, that looks so good on you. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. This is, uh... Who's a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, vlog. Do you like it? Do a little turn on the catwalk. Oh, well, let's do the catwalk. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it was very good. All okay, right. Okay, good okay. night, good night, good night. We got to show everybody that you won. <laughs> I, uh, You're stepping on our new rug with your shoes? Why do you have a rug if you don't step on it with your shoes? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, you like? I do like. Turn around. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you did good. All right. You did good. Nice. Oh, wow, you're a natural. Wow. Well, a whole new <laughs> vlogging channel coming. A little scandalous. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Vlog views just went up. Okay. Wow. Do you like this one? I like that one, but honestly, I would like you if you were wearing a potato bag or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you wear. And vlog, please let me know in the comments which one you like.